Hi all, this is Kamsu HS Consultancy Private Limited. We'll start sharp at 9. This is Kamal Shah from Switch and Consultancy Private Limited. I'm a stock market trader and a trader. So friends, are you taken by some... Hi all, good evening. This is Kamal Shah from Switch Arts Consultancy Private Limited. So I welcome you all for the webinar on destiny, which we call as discovering a trader in you. So let's see first that we, the guy that we want to discover a trader, who that trader is, right? Because we should be aware of the trader. So who a trader is now? What we believe as a trader is he thinks that he is in the best business in the world, right? Because he has his reasons. Like if I have to say being a trader, I say that I am in the best world. My reasons are number one, I can start with any capital that I have. I do not have to search for a large capital requirement to start this business. Like for example, you can start with even one single share in the market. So you know what is going to stop you to even buy one single share. So that is how you can be into this business. Second thing, we all are aware today with mutual funds, 500 rupees per month. That is the capital requirement, right? So that is very easy for anyone and everyone can start involving themselves into this business then the second reason for being the best in the world is in this particular business i as a trader can take leaves or vacations whenever i want can any other business person or person who is doing a job can take this type of leverage or have this type of flexibility to take leave or vacation on will no because in any other business you are worried that your business would be taken over or you will lose your clients to your competitors or to your peers and that's the reason why you will be always under pressure to be in the business every time even at job you cannot take leave at will right we all know about that so that is where i say that this is the business which will give you that flexibility right and lastly why i feel this is the best business in the world is there is no competition that is going to avoid or make your profit margin go down in any other business we all know that in this competitive world we are always have to put our pricing in such a way that we can get more sales over here you do not need to worry you can buy the same share the same price and we all 
believe me we all can sell that at the same price later when it is rising so there is no one going to stop our profits we don't have to think about booking the profits early because then it might not be there it is there and you can just get it so that is the reason why it's the best business in the world because this thing none other business in the world can give you right then the second reason is we say it is very easy to analyze the stock and find the best one every day it is that simple and we will see this throughout this webinar how we can easily analyze a stock right then you can be your own boss today in this particular world where we are working under someone say if we are at a job we know that how a boss is always there right and we know one saying that is very common boss is always right so why not be your own boss because let me tell you with one example if you are at a job and you complete your week's assignment on tuesday can you tell to your job ma manager that boss i have completed the work of this week i will take my vacation or i can start my weekend from wednesday no because that is not the, something that is possible when you are in job or as I already said in any other business you cannot shut down your shop or your office for the remaining days right but for a trader say if i have a limit of 40000 a week and if i make that 40000 in monday so i start trading on monday i make 40000 i can easily shut down my work then and there and start my weekend from that moment no one can stop me so that is why i will be my own boss i govern the time i work i govern how much i work so that's where that flexibility is with us right so that is the reason we say you decide what you want to do each day rather than someone else deciding for you right then after you do all these things what you get is freedom of time because you will have ample of time believe me it is like you will be able to do what to do the best thing is you will be able to spend your quality time with your family with your friends which in other uh, businesses or in other days we normally are not able to do that and that is where we fall short right and that is one thing which this business gives us freedom of time and you can spend that easily with your family and your friends and also you can live your own passion so if you have any passion then you were not able to do it because of your current restrictions at either your business or your job a trader can easily do that right and there is abundant opportunity like there are almost 4000 plus scripts traded in the market you choose it your script and you trade that no one is able to going to take away that opportunity from you it is an abundance it's an ocean believe me it's an ocean you just have to go there with your bucket and start filling how much you want to fill it right that is the reason why we say it's abundant opportunity right and lastly what a trader always get is the financial freedom right see it is the last thing in this particular trader's mind to be for everyone who wants to become a trader then should the first point it should be in the middle or in the last the reason why i'm telling you this is when you have you want to become a trader and the reason for that is to earn good money easy money then let me tell you friends if your initial two or three trades goes in against you right you incur loss i am telling to you you will lose confidence in the traders business in trading and simultaneously you will stop trading the thing is you will lose a very good opportunity to make money and that is where you know people fail because they come here only to make money and that is not 
the thing. It, you have to have a higher purpose other than getting the financial freedom ahead of you to be a trader, right? So that is where a trader is. So now we saw who this trader is. Now let's see where does this trader work. So his workplace is nothing but stock market because here we are going to talk about a stock market trader and he will work at stock market. So if you see the first slide on in the slide, it reads about stock market is a place to earn money and not to lose money. So if you see very correctly, we have actually striked out the word lose money. The reason I will let you know in some time, but this is my guarantee that stock market is not a place to lose money. Understand one thing in any other business, when you start a business, you know that you are going to make money in that business and that's the reason why you start that business and you always have one thing in your mind a calculative risk if you can manage that risk you will be the king of that business believe me that is what even you need to do with stock market you need to treat it like any other business that's it and then you will earn money losing money is not an option at all right that again when we say stock market we always see something like a trade right a trade is something when someone is buying someone is selling so that means that when someone is buying his mindset his perception is that the price will go up simultaneously someone who is selling thinks that this is going to go down and that is the reason why they both enter into a trade but remember in this it means that we are always against someone's mind we are always against someone's perception in the market and that is what the stock market is all about and does our mind stops friends no right it always keeps going even at night when we are sleeping dreams are always there right and that is where we say it never stops so stock market will never stop why because it's always in the mind it's not about a physical place like nsc bsc mcx buildings or trading times it is about the market and the market never stops it goes on like for example if today's reliance closing price is around 1202 so can if the market stops then tomorrow at 9 15 when the market starts the price should be at 1202 but is that our experience no right because it might start at around 1205 or maybe 1195 it that's the reason why it never stops because even though the trading has halted for the day there is something or the other going behind the scenes which keeps manipulating this price again and again and that is where it never stops Again, what we say is, as markets are always probable, not certain. Why I'm saying you this, being a trader, even if I go into a trade, I will not be certain that this is going to hit the target. It is a probability that I am trading and that's the reason why you need to manage risk. And that's the reason many people, they lose money because they think it's a certainty, but friends, it's always probability remember that right and market is always right like if i tell you a short story about a lion who thinks that he's the king of the jungle and we all have read about him in our books when we were small right in school we were taught the lion is the king of the jungle but friends let me tell you this story there was a lion and he doubted that was he been taken as the king of the jungle. So what he did was he said, let me go on to a walk and catch hold of few animals and ask them whether they know who is the king of the jungle. So on that, he went into the jungle and he caught one goat. So the goat was caught. The goat was very scared because it was in the lion's hand. Now the lion is asking the goat, Hey, you, do you know who am I? And the goat was, okay, I know you are the king of the jungle. So my Lord, your job is to save us and not to kill us. Please let me go. 
At this, the king was happy that, okay, she knows who am I. Let me forgive her and he allows her to go. So the goat goes away. Now again, the king is walking onto the road and he finds one fox. And fox, being a bit cunning and bit using his mind, again, the same question goes to him. Hey, you, do you know who am I? And that again, the fox, oh, my Lord, have I done any mistake? Why are you asking me such a common question? I know you are the king of the jungle. What I, everyone in the jungle knows you are the king of the jungle. So he's trying to praise the king of the jungle and get rid of him. And that is what happened. The lion allows him to go as well. Now, with his ego boosted, he's walking ahead and he meets an elephant. Now he's shouting to the elephant, hey, you big guy, do you know who am I? Elephant is not bothered and doesn't even look at him. At this, the egoistic king gets a bit hurt, right? Because there is someone who is not respecting the king. At this, he goes and knocks him with his paws and says, Hey, you, do you know who am I? I'm talking to you. Elephant doesn't do anything. He just holds him with his trunk and bashes him left, right, left, right, and puts him down again. Baffled. The lion is now in no shape. But again, he gets that courage to ask him, do you know who am I? Elephant again puts him, pulls him with his trunk, bashes him left, right, left, right, and throws him onto a tree. This time, the king is shattered. And he just says one thing. It's okay if you don't know the answer. Please let me go. It's Beating me was not required. So this is how the nine, the king of the jungle had to say when he faced one more stronger person than him. And guys, this is nothing but a resemblance to a trading as well. In trading, challenge it right now what we say whatever technicals or whatever um, fundamental analysis or anything that you do in stock market to invest in the market is always 30 percent of the overall thing on in trading but the 70 percent is your mindset and that is the main important thing in stock market trading now let's see what are the ways to invest in the market and why we prefer technical analysis, right? Because we have one thing is inside news as one of the thing where how you can trade, which I personally feel it's illegal and it should not be taken care of. Second is fundamental analysis, which is according to us somewhere a lag indicator because it does not, first of all, you have to go through multiple things and you need to have a good financial background for that, like a CA or a CFA degree to decode the balance sheet and the other financial statement that a company gives out. And lastly, you need to think too much about impacts of other things like dollar changes, crude value changes, government policies, etc. to understand how it is going to impact that particular company and then arise to a place whether to buy it or not. So that is the reason why fundamental analysis is somewhere a lag indicator. And the third is technical analysis. So let's friends see why technical analysis. First of all, in today's world in trading, you need to have a proper entry and exit. I know everyone will believe this, that in market, the key is entry and exit. And if something can give you a systematic approach, right? And we will see that with that, with actual examples that how it can be defined very easily with technical analysis, you can easily enter into market with that calculative risk. As we are talking about risk, technical analysis helps us to define that very clearly. So that's where it goes with the risk management system and it helps you to find the good stock. As we just 
we will just see that and we saw this in case of a traders uh, list as well that he is the one who is able to find a winning stock easily and we'll see how technical analysis is helping him it provides an early signals into the market for any impact believe me i would guarantee this to anyone and everyone that every news is discounted in the price and that is the reason why you will always get and early signals about what the price movement is going to happen from looking at the charts. And that is the reason why technical analysis is right now gaining popularity in India as well. It's already well known in the other part of the world, US and Europe in the main centers, Asia where we see Hong Kong and Tokyo as well. And now India is gaining more popularity because of all this advantages that one get from technical analysis it is also a short term long term like he's a signal based trader right so if you have a signal to go long into a trade uh, i'll just um, say two words long and short long means when you have to buy a particular thing in stock market and short is when you sell first and then you buy later so these are going to be a few names that i'm going to use so i'm just covering that uh, into this particular webinar so that everyone knows and are on the same page so if there is a signal to go long into the market i will go long i will buy that particular stock and i will hold it till there is not a reversal signal on that now, if that reversal signal happens the same day, I'm a short term trader or an intraday trader. Or if that comes after a month, two months, a year, I can be a long term investor also. So a trader is not someone who is only doing short term trading or intraday trading. Trader is a someone who is interested in holding that particular trade till there is no reversal signal. So that is what a trader is doing. Right. Again, he's never a bear or a bull. He's always on to the winning side. He does not care who is winning. He will be just he is only concerned that he should be on to the winning team. And that is what he does. And that's the reason why he can ride both the side of the market. He can also ride an uptrend sitting on to the bull side and a downtrend sitting on to the bear side. So that is no loyalty to any of the thing the loyalty is only with his own trading account which he wants to be green always right and again for this no educational background is required as i said for fundamental analysis you will always need a ca or a cfa degree for technical analysis nothing is needed even my son who is 13 years old still in an eighth grade can do this and he has already known few things which we'll be covering in this webinar so now as we said about the risk management and the importance of that and how technical analysis gives us a very clear way of managing risk now risk management is very essential because believe me if a trader who is doing a great job throughout his life and has earned lots and lots of money and is in his last trade he does not manage risk believe me friends he can go to zero in the same trade and maybe negative because risk management is that key and it can just wipe you out in no time in the markets that we are right now which is choppy on both the sides it can just make your account go to zero or red in no time so that is the reason why risk management is the key to stay in this business and it is very 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 easily done in this now again what we say is when someone asks you to buy something or to take a trade he cannot guarantee you the target because that is as we already discussed in stock market it is probable it's not certain right so there can be no guarantee on the target but can i not define my risk Yes, and that is the only thing in our control and that is the reason why in trading you should manage risk because that's the only thing you know and that's the reason it is essential now let's see how you can do this 
So in risk management system, normally what we do is we take a coin and we ask someone. So I would recommend everyone who is listening to this webinar currently or would be listening the recorded version of this. Do this example at your place. Just have a coin in your hand. Take 100 as your opening balance. And before you flip the coin, think whether it is a head or a tail. Right. And then when you flip the coin and whatever you would assume say heads and heads comes, you can increase your valuation by 20 percent. So your 100 will become 120. But if you go wrong, you should deduct 10 percent from your 100. So it becomes 90. And you need to do this at least 10 times. When you do this, you will understand the power of risk management. Now, for example, let's see. What we had done over here is if you can see the first particular results, which is saying 50 50 case where I have gone five times right and five times wrong, I am left with, I have got 47% as a return on my investment. Believe me, friends, everyone would be knowing that in today's market, in any other business, to get such type of profit margin, return on investment is just impossible. You can get this easily in stock market, right? And that is the power of risk management because even though you're five times you are wrong, you are still getting 47% return. The second case, if you see that you are right three times and you're wrong seven times, in that case as well, only loss that you've incurred so far is 17% not more than that even though you are 70 percent wrong your loss is still at 17 percent and you can easily come back and say the worst case you go 10 on 10 wrong then do you have 35 percent of capital left with you and believe me friends it's still enough for you to fight back now the reason why you can hold this worst case is you are doing something terribly wrong technically and that's where you can do this. Otherwise, such results are not possible. And if you are incurring something like this, be sure that you need help from some expert to guide you where you are going wrong, right? And the best case is 10 on 10. You get all 10 trades correct. Friends, this is quite possible because when you are doing technical analysis in a trended market, you can easily get 80 to 90 percent of your trades going through and that also hitting the target right so now what we actually did by that 20 percent 10 percent was nothing but we were actually giving you a two is to one reward is to risk ratio right so your reward is two percent and your risk is one percent when you have such type of trading practice you will not incur a loss. Now, again, I'm reiterating the same thing which I said in the first line of the slide, the stock market. <coughs> Sorry. So in stock market, we said it is a place to earn money and not to lose money. Now, when you take trades which are of such risk reward ratio, where your risk is 1% and your reward is 2% or 2 and above, you will never lose money because even though if you are seeing in this particular example, you go wrong 50% of the time, you are still making good money, right? So that is the power of risk management. Now let's go to basic of candlesticks. Now, the main thing in technical analysis is there are two main things which you study, that is price and volume. So when we say about price, we all can think about a day-to-day -day price attributes which are open, close, high, and low. So these are the four attributes of a candle as well. And if you see in this particular example, the green candle is where the price is open lower and closed higher. Say the opening price is around 1000 and my closing price is around 1020. So then the 20 rupees forms the body of the candle or the real body of the candle and if say it has made a low of 995 and a high of 1025 then 
that can be shown with the help of the wicks that we have shown in this particular diagram. So the low and the high are shown by the wicks and the actual movement between the open and the close is called as the real body of that candle. And this is a beautiful way of depicting price in technical analysis. And the red candle shows that the price had opened higher and closed lower. So say it has opened at 1000 and closed at 975. So then the 25 rupees movement in the downside becomes your real body. And say if it had made a high of 1007 and a more low of 970, those would be your low and high of the day. So that's how this will be shown pictorially in a chart. So what again we mean over here is a green day is always called as bullish. So again, I will tell you two terms. One is bullish and the other is bearish. Bullish means it was a good day for that particular stock in the market. Bearish means it was not that good day for that particular stock or the index for that day. Right. So now we move on to one of an interesting pattern of candlesticks. What we see here is called a doji. Doji means indecisive and anything where there is indecisiveness, a trader would be always happy because it's a setup for a trade next day. So now when we see this, there are different dojis that we have shown here. All of them means one and the same indecisiveness in the market and you need to know two thumb rules for this type of candles. Now, if you see there is a very small or negligent body, right? There is no real body present in this doji candle. So these are considered as small body candles. For small body candles, two thumb rules. One, the color is of no significance. So it can be red, it can be green. That is okay. It can be anything. And second, it always wait for a confirmation next day. So that is where this particular type of formation helps us to take a trade into the next day. So now let's see few of the strategies related to a doji. Now, in this case, if you see there are three candles where it is the price is moved up. So it's an uptrended stock and it is moving on to the higher side day by day. And then there is a doji at the top. Now, this doji means that there is going to be a reversal of this particular trend for some time. And that's the reason why it's an indecisiveness at the top. And that can be traded. Now, for an, a trader, this is a good setup. So now the trade strategy says you need to sell or sh go short in the market below the low of this doji with your risk is high of the doji that means you have to have your risk or your stop loss in the market at the high of the doji and you enter into the trade below the low of the doji and your target can be, uh, be the low of this particular candle so here this part is going to be your target so what we call this is this entire thing is called a swing Okay, from your first candle, green candle, till the high of the doji is a swing. And this is the swing low. And the high of the doji is the swing high. So when there is a doji at the top, the pattern is called doji star bearish. And in that case, you enter the trade at the low of the doji. You short in the market. You go short in the market. Your risk is high of the doji and your target is low of the swing so that is how you can easily take this as a trading strategy right and now we are going to see a cousin of this particular pattern this was doji star bearish so let's see doji star bullish in this case the market was going down for some days and then there is a doji at the lowest point and the trade again in this pattern would be you buy above the doji high with the low of the doji as your risk or your stop loss and this time this is going to be a swing high so this swing high is going to be your target so this is how you trade a doji friends this 
is called as a swing trade and this trades now let's see them onto the live chart how they look so now if you take as an example here if you see that after two big black candles so the price has fallen down from almost 1620 to 1550 so almost 70 rupees is the fall and then there is a doji now this doji is again at a support so now what i mean by support is if you look at this particular candle the black candle over here right this particular candle right it is resisting a price the top or the high of this candle has resisted a price and now if you see this doji is almost at the same level and the rule of a support line or a resistance line is once that resistance is broken and when the price again comes to it it acts as support right so that is what where we are here and there is a sub add support we have a doji now the trade will start once i cross the high of this doji so now let's see the next day what happens right yeah the high of the doji is crossed and my buy trade is triggered with my 1540 or the low of the doji as my stop loss and now let's see what happens so the target has been met within six days of the trade so this is how you can trade a doji star right let me take another example so now if you see this particular doji out here it is at resistance level so if you see this particular candle tried but it didn't cross that particular level at 750 752 level right and this doji is again coming up here now technically we call this as a double top so this was one top right and then this is the another top and at double top we have a doji so now if the low of this particular doji is broken i can easily go short in the market i can sell first and buy later let's see what happened in this trade so my short is triggered in the market gone gone and my target has been achieved so if you see my target is achieved here and now again there is a pattern which is asking me that i can either square up my short position and maybe go long next day so this is how you can easily trade this dojis here right now friends let me also show you one more thing very interesting thing on nifty and bank nifty chart we all know that markets have been falling since almost last week and there is still not clear movement in the market the reason for that technically let me show you that i'm going into a nifty chart and I'm going into the weekly chart of Nifty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a trend line. And if you see this trend line, So now if you see this is particularly a trend line which is almost two and a half years old so this is the trend line starting from 2016 right and if you see this from april 2016 till almost october 2018 so two and a half year old trend line and that has been broken right and as i said earlier also the rule of support and resistance lines is now uh, this was acting as support here was acting as support here and now broken 
once broken the point where it is resisting is also the same trend line so if you see this this particular trend line is now acting as resistance and that's the reason why the markets are been re been restricted to go higher and that's where we are facing resistance or downside in the market and this is also true for bank nifty so that is the reason why when both the major index in the market are having such type of thing we will be not able to cross it that easily so if you see again here this is the reason why markets or bank nifty is going down so this are the trades on trend line friends we teach this in detail in our program one so what we cover in our program one is different trends in market we do a uh, candlesticks and 24 powerful candlesticks pattern and strategies to trade them along with that support and resistance which are through horizontal lines as well as the angular which are the trend lines and trend channels and we just saw the importance of this trend lines we teach you with proper accuracy how to draw those strain lines because the thing is you need to know how to get the trend line correct and that is where we would be helping you out then we move on to a very powerful concept of fibonacci which helps everyone to understand how much the price will come down or how much after coming down it can go up so it helps you to understand how much the price is going to retrace and extend once it is retraced again we go into detail about volume and price relationship there are few volumes which you should be happy to have in the market to make an entry and there are few volumes which should be like an alert for us to exit so that is where we will help you to understand which volume is happening right now and then the risk management strategies so there are few strategies which will help you manage your risk properly as well as according to your capital how much risk you should be taking would be shown to you in this particular program along with this 20 plus trading strategies which will include the candlesticks along with support and trend lines right so this is the program first now we move on to understanding market trends so when we see a trend in the market there is that can be either uptrend that can be downtrend or sideways now let's see how to find out which trend is going on currently so for this let us understand few concept bottom or top we call them again as either supply zone or demand zone so bottom is always a demand zone and as we have all learned in economics that every time when there is a demand in the market the price goes up when there is a supply in the market the price goes down so now at the bottom so there is a demand at this particular level and it pushes the price up see it moves from 80 to 100 now at 100 many people would feel that they have made enough money because it's a 20 rupee jump that they've already got they will start to book profits and since that will act as supply in the market the price will come down so now it comes down to say 92 right so at 92 then we see that there is again a sudden rush or new demand coming up because people who had already entered in the market at 80 would like to add more at a higher price believe me friends a trader will never average out in loss he will be always adding up positions in profit and that is what a trader would be doing so when he is adding his positions here so he is one person who is interested there are many few people who would feel that they are been left out when the price moved from 80 to 100 and they will found it attractive at 92 they will also act over here as participants and the people who had already booked their profits at 100 would again re-enter at 92 because they are already making eight rupees in that script and then for them they, they're they can easily take a risk of eight rupees and go go long into this trade so there is more demand and that's the reason why the demand zone is now 
moving higher than the previous demand and this more demand will pull the price higher than supply zone or my top and this is how this particular price will keep moving so this part where it is doing a higher bottom and a higher top is called as an uptrend and the price keeps moving in this direction with this type of movement where it does go to a top and this retracement so this is the retracement which a fibonacci can help us understand and then how much it can go higher is again what a fibonacci can help us right now again this particular is an example of a downtrend where we see that it is going it, the supply zones are going lower lower and lower so it is making a lower top and lower bottom so your demand zones and supply zones are moving lower it's a downtrend and now the last trend in the market is a sideways where it's just juggling around a support and resistance level and just goes into a sideways market believe me friends for a trader all the three trends are important because while he is busy trading the uptrend and the downtrend because those are the trends he should be riding he is having the watch list of a sideways market because this is going to give him a trend soon as soon as there is a breakout either side on the downside or the upside the trend will start and that's the reason why sideways market is also a watch list of a trader and he will be waiting for a breakout on either side so now this saw is nothing but this particular part where i can easily ask you what can be done on each level now what do we learn this is a previous stop and now if i have come here and i am going to go higher what can be done at this point and an easy answer is a buy because now i know that the price is going to go higher from here and my risk is this particular low so my stop loss becomes this my entry becomes this and i can easily expect a price which is higher than this so this is something which gives me a confidence to enter into a buy trade so i can easily buy here and then when i come here you can see that i am going to go short in the market because i am breaking down i am actually breaking down the bottom and when i am breaking down the bottom i will be going short in the market with this particular high as my stop loss and i can easily ride this till this particular part and when i am coming back to a point 3 here i know that i am breaking this top and i can easily go long in this market so this is an easy way to do top bottom this is a top bottom strategy which gives you good results and with minimum trades believe me with minimum trades so this is in front of you as the bank nifty chart and the lines that we are seeing right now is nothing but the another way to in, uh, indicate a price onto the chart which is called as a close line chart over here if you see that there are only 14 trades in 6 months so 2018 from january to june if you see there are only 14 trades and what are we doing is we are going short when the bottoms have been broken and we are going long when the tops have been taken out and that's how you can easily ride the trend so if you see that this is an easy good trade from here and then you go short right at the top and you earn it till the bottom so this is how you can easily take this type of trades if you are riding the trend and this top bottom uh, theory is really very very useful for us and this is the other 6 months where we have done totally 34 trades in that particular year and if you would like to see the results of this this are results on bank nifty top bottom with only one lot so if you see the lot size is just 40 quantity and the profit is 5 lakh 6000 5 lakh 6000 on an investment of around 1 and a half lakh so that is how it can help you to build huge wealth with this type of strategies now again i would like to show you a trade which our students have been taking so everyone in the market would be aware of 
a sudden fall on in maruti which happened recently right and we all know how maruti went so this was the bottom right if you see this let me choose an arrow so that i can easily show you what point we were saying oh so this is the point where the shot would trigger and this has given a fall till here so this is a entire fall which our students have taken and it is believe me it is from 6734 so 73 7300 till this particular point 6500 so it's 800 points in 2 to 3 days in a market and 800 points on maruti means multiply by 75 quantity which is almost 60000 rupees so this is what trading on top bottom can give you right friends so this is the top bottom so even the bank nifty results are in front of you and maruti which our students are already doing they have shared their results and that's where we were able to see how you know they were able to make as well so simply build house is a program for where we do cover such four strategies so same as uh, top bottom which we just saw there are other three uh, strategies which will be showing you in this particular program we make you do it in front of us so we'll make you do for at least two years in front of us so that is what we cover in this program and along with this if you see the for the second line in the slide it says systems to learn pyramiding on winning trades and that is the main thing because you need to add on to the quantity when you are making money in that trade and that is where you will start making multiple or exponential money and that is the power of pyramiding and we will show you that and once you will be doing it yourself you'll experience it right so that is what we come uh, do it in the simply build house program so friends there are few testimonials out here of our students uh, so if you see suresh who is one of our uh, combo student from mumbai he has already made in just 2.5 months he has completely recovered all his fees and what he has done was just trading options so he was the one who was taking trades in options rather than futures because of the capital restrictions as you can see in the uh, whatsapp chat that he has put now what i had said to you that 10 on 10 is possible so this guy warner was able to if you see eight out of nine trades accurately which was the systems you taught us helped us get eight out of nine trades so august was the month and that was a trended month that's what i said when the markets are trending technical analysis will give you 100% result 80% result 90% result and that is really really very good and you can make good money when the markets are trending and at the same time milind haria who is a student at tybcom and he is doing this uh, program he has already completed and the way he is trading so the maruti example was nothing but uh, milind haria's uh, top and bottom on maruti's results and he had done that particular trade so guys are you ready to discover trader in you do you want to change your destiny if yes then how can switch arts help you so this are the two products where we are so first program is what we have been talking since the start of this webinar is simply technical trainings where we conduct trainings on technical analysis and the second part is advisory services which we call as millionaire club trades where we give those people who are who wants to trade but do not want to do it themselves so for them we have our advisory services in advisory services what we cover is one to two future stock recommendations on day to day basis we guide you from the start of the trade till the end of the trade and we keep telling you in between once the price is moving in our favor how do you start changing your stop losses from say from loss to a trailing stop loss which is going to give you profit so you have to learn to protect your capital as well as once you are in the money start protecting the profit as well so that is what we 
do in this particular program where we guide you to how to move the stop losses as well and then what we recommend out here is at least three lakh of rupees in your account because when we are giving you two to three trades you should be able to take all of them to get the results which we will be showing you now and the thing is if you want to have more details i would recommend everyone listening to this video to go on to our website uh, which is swaycharts.com and visit our services page which is advisory right so these are the results in october we made 74000 for our clients and our students in november the amount went to 171000 again a trended market you can see this results december 2018 it was 24000 and in January, we are down by almost minus uh, 15 to 16,000 because it's been a very choppy month. So it's a negative month for us. But overall, last four months, we have all, uh, almost recovered 80% of the capital that was been invested. So that is how we are doing right now. And on to the training programs, we have four coaching weekends where we cover from very basic of the stock market for uh, any new person who does not even know what a stock is we start from there and then we take a deep dive into candlesticks trade uh, support and resistance and that in the first program then we move on to the simply indicators where we go in detail with three basic parameters and very effective parameters rsi bollinger bands and moving average and in the third program we do the application part of simply uh, swings and options where we cover intraday trading along with swing trading and options and options without greeks so it's made very simple and then the p4 as we just saw about simply build house now the best part of this training is and you will listen this on our testimonial page as well from many of our students is the homework because we know that you need to get your eyes tuned to what we want you to see onto the charts. And for that, after every program, we give you homework, which will ask a commitment of at least one hour daily from your side as well. And if you do that, I am telling you, you will be rocking as a trader, right? And what we will give you along with this is free charting software. So that software, which I was just sharing the screen with, uh, that software will be given to you free plus you will get six months whatsapp and phone support for any guidance or anything that you want and the best part is we give you trade support to recover 100 percent of your fees so that, that is what we give you in this particular program you can easily recover the fees that you are going to pay us right so that is what we help you to be now our upcoming programs are the first program, which is Simply Advanced Technicals, is happening on 2nd and 3rd February in Pune at Shivaji Nagar. And 9th and 10th February, it is happening in Mumbai. This is a full two days program. In Mumbai, the location would be Andheri East. And a P4 for our current batch in Pune is happening on 23rd and 24th September, uh, February. Now, why we have mentioned for simply build house out here is if anyone from pune is interested to come for the simply build house you can easily walk in because this program is totally independent from the other three program this a new person can easily come and will be able to understand everything that we do in this program and that's the reason why we have shown this over here now the coaching fees because that is what everyone is waiting for so for the first program, where we cover all the topics that have been mentioned, candlestick, support resistance, trend line, trend channel, and risk management, the fees are 24,000 rupees. And with the guarantee that 100% fees will be refunded if you do not like the program. If you feel this was of no use to you, then we will refund your money right away without any questions asked. And for all you wonderful people who are listening to me live right now, as well as who will be listening to this recording, for them, the, there is going to be a 50% discount, and that is bringing the price to 12,000 rupees. 
Now, anyone who is going to put his name and number and going to book today itself, we will be giving you another 10% discount. So people who are going to put their name and number and who wants to learn more things on advanced technicals, they can just put your name and your mobile number onto the chat and we will give you the program at 10,800, right? So that is going to be the final offer for anyone who is joining today. For else, anyone who is listening and going to come back to us within a day or two, the 12,000 offers remain valid. And for others, the offer will then go down to 24,000. So that is going to be the price for this first program. And we will be giving you two months MCT advisory free along with this particular program. So you will be easily able to recover whatever you pay us, right? So that is our part on the fees and the freebies that we are going to give along with the program. So thank you all. We are looking for your feedback and please do share this with your friends and family if you found this useful. Thank you all.